February 2022, my husband Roger and I were making a video about signs of hope and revival in the Telford and Rekin area of Shropshire. We did some filming at Yellow Ribbon in Telford. It's a community chaplaincy. It was here we unexpectedly met Victor, who was excited to tell us his story. Just a couple of weeks before, he'd been kicked out of his ex-partner's home with nowhere to go. I was homeless. It was minus two. Um, I had nowhere to go, no direction. I had no family to go to at the time. I spent two nights rough on the streets. On the third night, I had, because I'd, I'd already suffered with anxiety and depression anyway. And on the third night, I was on the way to Wellington train station to go and kill myself to commit suicide because I was just so broken. I was a complete mess. I was about 50 to 100 yards away from the train station and I've got Crohn's disease. And as it was, I had a massive Crohn's flare and I collapsed. And a gentleman phoned me, called an ambulance and I went to hospital. So something happened there to stop me from killing myself in the first place. So in hospital, I was, so obviously I was mentally broken, I was heartbroken, mentally broken, I, I was just a complete mess. I kept looking in the mirror, didn't recognise who I was, I was asking just for, and I had no belief, I had nothing, but I was just asking for something, just a little bit of direction, and at the time there was nothing. But as the days were going on, I felt myself building a little bit stronger, then the one day, I, I was strong enough to go, right, I'm going to go downstairs for a little bit of fresh air. So I had a bit of fresh air. And as it was, as I was coming back in, a priest walked into the elevator at exactly the same time as me. And I was just like, oh. So I didn't think nothing of it. And then I pressed floor five. I said, where are you going, mate? He said, floor five. I was like, okay, so this is a sign. This is, I don't know why. I just, and I, you know, I've never had no belief, but I just felt this is a sign. So I said, is there any chance you can come and see me? Um, and I told him where I was. He said, yeah, of course, no problem at all. And he'd come up and we had a little chat and he, he prayed over me for, you know, for strength and, you know, for guidance. And then I was in hospital for what, two and a half weeks. On the 2nd of February, I'll always remember it only because there's a certain date on the 3rd of February means a lot to me. So on the 2nd of February, I got told I was medically fit for discharge and I was panicking. I was thinking, right, I'm going to be homeless now. I've got nowhere to go. I've got no money yet. I haven't been paid yet again. And I was panicking, my anxiety, and I, was, I felt like I was going back to square one. So for some reason, I went down to the chapel and I put my knee, I was literally, I put my elbows there and I was just, I was just like, please, I didn't know what to ask for, I just, I just wanted help. And I was, I was just in such a mess. And then I went back upstairs, you know, the housing phoned me up and said, right, we think we might have somewhere for you. And then that failed. I was like, okay. And then all of a sudden out of the blue, yellow ribbon, FaceTime me. I didn't, I wasn't expecting a phone call or nothing. And they FaceTime me and I had Jamie and Rita there. And I told them about my story, what I've just gone through, and they kept looking at each other as if to say, yeah. He, he, they just felt that connection, and they said we'd be more than happy to take it. They not know me, but I know everything about you, for I knew you. Before you were conceived and did you know that I love you? Yellow Ribbon became a turning point for Victor. You don't re yeah. regenerate. Yeah. I, just, yeah. I just feel so alive again. Yeah. Yeah. And do you know why? It's because I've got hope. Yeah. Hope entered his life. Jesus was there answering his cries for help that had begun even before his hospital stay. I was still a mess and they could see I needed guidance still. And I said, it's a good thing to come to church on Sunday. He might, he might just help a little bit. And that's when my life just turned. Do you know 
that I love you. In fact, I chose you when I planned all creation. You know, mistake. Your days are written in my book, and did you know? Obviously, I, I suffer with mental illness. You know, mental illness with depression and anxiety, but. It was, oh, so I went and stood at the altar because they said, um, if anybody wants to come up, and I was, I was, I was stood up straight away. I thought, right, I need to do this. I don't know why, I just stood up, so right. And then uh, Roy and another female, she, they put their hand on my chest and they were just, I, can't, I don't know what they were saying because obviously they were saying it in their heads, but they were like mumbling it slightly. But I just stood there and I just had this overwhelming feeling, like an aura, come around my body. And I felt all this emotion and all this, all this anger and all this sadness and all this grief and everything was just pouring out of me. And I, I wasn't even doing nothing, I just stood there. And it, literally, um, I had tears coming out of my eyes. I, I, was, I, was, I was crying, but I wasn't, I, I was crying, but I wasn't crying. It was just, everything was just coming out, all this emotion. And I felt like I was rocking. And all I was doing was standing there, and then it almost felt like an out-of-body experience. And then I felt really numb, and I went tingly, and I felt really heavy. But as soon as I felt heavy, it was almost like an explosion and it, something just inside just went poof. And I just felt really light. And I felt really refreshed. And I just felt this, this feeling I've never felt before. It just, and everyone's saying that that was your new life, that, that, that explosion. It was like everything, like the big bang in the universe, obviously everything collided and then eventually it just went bang. And that's exactly, that's how I explained how I felt. And everybody looked at me, like this morning when we had a chat, they all looked. And somebody who, um, he said he's been like part of the Lord for like 30 odd years and he said, that's just brought tears to my eyes. He said, the way you've just explained it, he said, I can't, he said, I can't put into context or into words, how? Like, the way, you, it's just, yeah, it, it, it's, it was just remarkable. Now is the time, open the door to Jesus. Last night we went to Bible studies. And there was a phrase, I don't know the phrase exactly, but it was something along the lines of um, your time was not yet to come. And that was my first night at the Bible study last night. And obviously I started off the, the night by telling a bit about myself, you know, that I was ready to end my life. Well, it would have been nearly um, four weeks ago now. And I always, you know, everyone's going, you know, so grateful and so proud of you for being able to talk about such a mental illness and that you were going to do that. That's that's big of you anyway. But then when we started to read and that phrase come out saying, you know, your time was not yet to come, everybody's mouth kind of just dropped and everyone just looked at me and they said, you know, we were all there as the body of Christ. And, you know, they said, it, you know, sometimes the signs are just just appear from nowhere. And from out the whole Bible, for that one phrase to come out after I'd given my story, that's not a coincidence. That, that was saying, he was saying, and I, I believe that he was saying to me, Victor, your time is not yet. And that's why I've had this new fresh release of life, all the chains have come undone. I forgive my ex for the way she hurt me, for the way she done it. I don't, I'm not bitter against her. She had her own reasons. And I always wish her happiness and love and I forgive. Um, and yeah, I just, I've just got, I just feel like I've got a new release of life and a new outlook in life. And I don't feel lonely anymore. Time to open up your 
Jesus, Lord, sweet.